and trying to keep this short and sweet. It's really difficult because it's a tough subject. I have depression and anxiety. And I have a long history of it since childhood. I do not take the medication for it anymore. It actually made mine worse. I have been hospitalized for it on numerous occasions, but not without the medication. For me, I'm not suggesting anybody else. This is mine. The uh, deep, dark, depressive moment that would land me in the hospital are getting farther and farther apart. The only reason for many years that I did not actually end it, I had attempted, but for many years, in the last eight years, my only reason was because of my sister Danielle. My sister Danielle had cancer, metastatic breast cancer that came back years later as bone cancer. And it was excruciating. It was painful. And she did everything to survive, knowing that she would not survive it. But she did what she could to prolong the inevitable. She lived five years longer than she should have. And any time I would get depressed, I would think, I can't end my life. Because my sister's trying so hard to keep hers going. That was what kept me going. Now that she's been gone a year and a half, mind you, I don't know if I said this a minute ago, but she is 17 months older than I am. And so we were close growing up. Now, mind you, any time I have those thoughts, I still think about her. And this is what keeps me going. I have my reasons. And this benefits me, obviously, to my life. But because she was not able to continue on with her life, she was nine days shy of 62. I will be 62 on Monday. And I will celebrate and have two pieces of cake, one for me and one for her. She is my reason when I'm severely depressed to still keep going. There's that little spark of sanity just hanging in there. She's what I think of. Find your spark. Never a reason to end it because you're valuable, you're wanted, and you're needed. But when you're in that dark spot, your brain tells you otherwise. But you are wanted. You are needed. You are loved by someone. I don't know you, but I care about you. Just find your spark. My sister Danielle is mine. Love your faces. If you made it this far, thank you for listening.